This is an RTV6 update, working for you. Hello, I'm Rafael Sanchez, and these are the latest headlines from RTV6. A closer look at that chain reaction crash on I-465 that killed a mother and her two 18-month-old girls. Police say a semi-driver was going too fast and slammed into stop traffic near the Keystone Avenue exit Sunday afternoon. That crash killed 29-year-old Elena Norman Coons and her twin daughters. Eight vehicles in total involved. The semi-driver, Bruce Pollard, faces now several criminal charges. Caltex investigates have been digging into the trucking company's safety history. The trucking company is Weston Transportation out of North Kansas City, Missouri, and records show they've been cited 20 times in the last two years for unsafe driving, including following too close, speeding, and lane restriction violations. It's common for trucking companies to have violations, and this company has not received any critical violations in the last two years. They're also in satisfactory standing with the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration. It is mission accomplished for the Legacy Park in Delphi. The families of Abby Williams and Libby German report that they've raised the $50,000 needed to get a matching grant from the state. The total $100,000 now will pay for an amphitheater at a park being built in memory of Abby and Libby. It has been more than two years since the girls were killed on a trail near, near Delphi. The fundraising, though, will continue to finish softball fields, playgrounds, and picnic shelters at that legacy park. Kevin? Our best chance for rain and thunderstorms arrives during the day Tuesday, remnants of Hurricane Barry, and you can see from early afternoon is when they'll peak into the evening hours. These would be tropical downpours. You could see an inch to two inches in an hour to two hours period of time. 7 a.m. Lafayette to around Greensburg Northeast, a little bit of a break. Then they'll start to fire up in this one to four and then seven o'clock window. Any one of these will have heavy downpours of rain. It will influence our temperature tomorrow keeping us in the low to mid 80s. Once the rain ends Wednesday afternoon, we warm up 88, low to mid 90s Thursday through Sunday with heat index values around 105. Uh, Kevin, thank you so much for more weather and stories that you need to know. Download the RTV6 mobile app. Thanks for joining us.